Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your July love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. The messages won't resonate with everybody, so make sure you uh, just take what fits and leave what don't. Make sure you check out your other signs as well. So, all right, Spirit Angels, what do Taurus have coming in July? All right, your first two cards out are the Devil and the Four of Pentacles. Your next card out is the Ace of Pentacles. I hate it. These cards are so pretty, but I wasn't even thinking. They glare a lot. All right, the energy coming in for you. The Two of Cups in reverse. Your guys' advice from Spirit is justice. Any other advice? Yep. Is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Your guys' outcome by the end of July. Is the Page of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. All right, your guys' shared energy, the Wheel of Fortune, nice. The Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so your guys' shared energy, um, allowing things to, allowing everything to happen in divine timing, allowing everything um, that needs to leave your life to leave as well as allowing blessings to come in. Um, leave what needs to leave or let leave what needs to leave and be open to receive because beautiful things are going to come in your direction um, very soon. Uh, you could be worried about letting something go due to um, worrying about finances, worrying about paying for children, worrying about um, if you're going to be able to afford it. Um, but when you allow things to happen, you're going to be okay. These are past cards that are um, clarifying uh, that, that wheel of fortune. So there could have been someone in your space also that left you in the dark, that intentionally kept secrets from you about your finances, um, or you could be hiding information about your finances to somebody, uh, Taurus. So in your current energy, you have the Four of Pentacles and the Devil. So you're really um, holding back, really uh, holding on tight. You're holding on tight, so tight to something that is trying to leave or change, that it's becoming toxic for you. Um, you could be fearing the loss of money, and that's why you're holding on to this relationship too tight. But whatever it is, this relationship is not good. Um, it's somebody that you are you know, tied or bound to um, legally, because you do have the justice card here as well, right underneath it. Yeah, and it has to do with a a home that that needs to change this is a a relationship that was built on a faulty foundation um and the home is just becoming toxic okay the person that you are dealing with um they have the ace of pentacles so <clears throat> They're seeing a new beginning here, a new opportunity. Um, and I do feel they're going to take it, but you know this already. This has already happened. Um, so if you're not going through a relationship problems, then this relation or this reading isn't for you because they see a door of opportunity opening elsewhere. Um, they've kept secrets from you, uh, it, but they're following their intuition to their new beginning. They're trying to leave this and you're holding on way too tight Taurus remember this can go vice versa if you're the one trying to leave your partner isn't letting you go um, this is a relationship that has come to the end of its cycle there's there's just not the love there that can 
that can make this work because your person or you aren't wanting to work on it. Um, yeah. Some things have not been illuminated that were done in the past that will be coming to light very soon. Um, and they're trying to walk away, or you are, and one of you is keeping the other one almost stuck there. Um, there is secrets here. But you know this, is what I'm hearing. You know this. But you're still not wanting to let this go. You could be offering to like stay together for the children or for finances but I don't think your person's gonna go for that because they see an opportunity elsewhere the energy coming in for this connection is the two of cups in reverse why is that here the nine of pentacles so the energy coming in towards you is you're gonna let this relationship go and you're be gonna become that strong independent person who is very financially stable, but also investing in your own happiness. You're not happy here, Taurus. You're miserable. But there's just that fear there of not of letting go. But there is healing here for you. Um, and I do see you moving toward being single and really investing in your own happiness, investing in your own life, in your own future. in spirit's advice for you there is justice so spirit's advice is to allow this to end allow this to come to a fair resolute um, allow this contract to be severed whether it be work or a marriage it's time to um oh my ears are ringing really bad it's time to allow um this to come to an end why is the justice coming whoa Let's try that again. Why is the justice card here? A spirit's advice. Yeah. So you have the nine of swords. There's been a lot of anxiety about this. A lot of sadness. A lot of nights alone crying. So they could have, they could be gone already, but it's not, the divorce isn't happening yet. But this is the end of this family cycle. This is the end of this relationship. But they could be at a distance from you already um, with that nine of swords. But this is also, you have blessings that are coming in for you. But they can't come in as long as you have this connection that you're not letting go of. Um, it's time to stop working on this connection that is, that is dissolved and allow communication to come in from somebody. There's somebody in your space. Wow, that's three eights in a row. You have the eight of swords as well. You feel trapped here by the sadness, but there's somebody new coming in for you. Um, could be a Libra, Gemini, Sagittarius, um, Aries. That is going to be a, a beautiful connection for you, but they won't come in as long as you're holding out and not allowing this. That's why you need to allow things to end that need to end. Go with the flow of life um, and, and let go of this toxic home that um, you're holding on too tight to. Your outcome is the Page of Swords. So you could be finding some text messages, reading some emails. Why is the Page of Swords here? Yeah, so your person could have a lot of options. Um, they could be like gaslighting you, like making you believe that you're crazy, that that wouldn't happen, that, you know, making you, trying to make you believe things that aren't true, but you're finding the truth. Either somebody's coming forward and telling you, or you're finding them yourself. And it is in regards to a third party. Yeah, so... Yeah, this can be with, you. your partner can be very controlling. Like things have to be their way on their time. Um, and they're saying it's done, now it's done. Type of energy. Um, they could be sending you a message about the ending, oops, the ending of this connection. Because this is finality. This is the period at the end of the sentence with the tower at the bottom and you underneath that. Beautiful. So you... 
You are going to see the light at the end of the tunnel very soon, Taurus. Yeah, you're going to release this deceitful energy. Tower at the bottom of the deck again. You're going to release this because this is clarifying what you're walking away from. You are no you're walking away from somebody who ignored you and put more focus on somebody else and who deceived you and lied and snuck around. You are the one walking away from this connection because uh, the eights always walk away from the other person. What's coming in for you after you leave this situation? You're going to move forward out of this, this heartache, out of this, like, I'm, you're not even sad about this anymore from this group of you. I feel like you're more pissed. Like, like, how could you do this to me? Like, and almost like overthinking it, like not overthinking it, but constantly thinking about it. Um, you're going to get out of that space. You're going to move forward um, where you're guided to guided to go. And you're going to get out of this heartache um, and this being pissed off. Yeah, out of this heartache is clarifying that. So could be um, from a Virgo or you need to retreat to find this healing. What comes of this healing of the heartache? Okay. So you are going to heal the heartache of this third party. Um, in this time of pause, you're going to get a whole new, um, you're going to get a new way of viewing things. Um, in this time of hanged man, you're going to receive healing, um, enlightenment, and a new opportunity. That is the best outcome I've seen for Taurus in months. Wow, the fool, the four of swords, the ace of swords. Wow. So yeah, you're at the end of this situation. Yeah, there's still going to be some healing of this heart that you need to do, but you're really going to release this connection and focus on making you great, making you amazing, um, releasing this toxic environment, this toxic home um, that you've been holding on to tight for. Remember, this can be vice versa. Allowing what's meant to go to go so you can allow this new beginning to come in. Amazing. I'm so happy for you, Taurus, because it's been a long time since you guys got a good reading. And this is beautiful blessings coming in. So let go of this. Let go of this. And know that you have beautiful... Um, possibilities coming in for you man that is so awesome like I was saying Taurus you guys have been dealing with this for quite some time Whoa. okay so oh I better get the outcome cards there we are. Okay. So Taurus, your cards are wedding. This situation involves marriage and it's time to take back control of your life and free yourself. For your person, they got separation and unrequited love. And for what's coming in for you, when you release this person, when you free yourself from this marriage, what's coming in for you is true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Extend your lighthearted energy with others with flirt. And divine timing is at work in your life. Worth waiting for. Okay, so once again, your advice is to free yourself from this marriage because you could possibly be in separation already if you aren't it's on the horizon because there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so free yourself from it because what the universe has for you is true love that is worth the wait 
Oh my gosh, Taurus. That is so awesome. All right, let's get your guidance card for the month of July. That makes me so happy for you guys. I We've just been having difficult readings for Taurus for quite some time. Okay, your card that came out. Purification. It's time for a cleansing detoxification of your emotions, your mind, your body, your soul. Get rid of what is not serving you. Purify your life. Get rid of that toxicity. And clarifying that is peace. There's no need to worry. Everything will work out beautifully. And underneath that is golden opportunity. Important doors are opening right now. Walk through them. And independent. Your independence is a foundation of your strength and success. Nice. So, purify your life of any toxicity that's in it. Release the worry. Everything is working out, or everything will work out beautifully. There's a golden opportunity for you to take step through that door and know that your independence is the foundation of your strength and success. Let's get your sacred traveler card. Oh. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Well, here, let's do this first. Uh, the ones that came out, you stand in the light of truth. You are discovering the truth. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. I do feel you're, you're almost codependent on the other person out of fear of finances. Oops, I'm sorry about that. And your bottom of the deck. Simplify your life. Travel lightly. Distant thunder. And taking shelter. So, um, discovering the truth. It says, listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul. Even if those around you don't agree, trust your instincts. Be yourself, whatever the situation, and respond from the authentic place inside. Be starkly honest with yourself. Speak your truth. Live your truth. Walk your truth. Listen to your inner guidance and follow it. You radiate energy of truth to others so that they can find theirs as well. If you're facing a decision and your mind says one thing and your heart says another, follow the dictates of your heart and you will be on the right path. If you get a nudge to speak to someone or go in a particular direction, don't hesitate. Follow the guidance. On your journey, others may indicate what path you should take and why. You can listen to their advice. However, if your heart indicates another way, follow that. There's a place inside yourself that always knows the truth. Take time to be still and discover the genuine place of knowing within. Often the hardest thing about life is discovering what your truth is. So it's important to slow down, be quiet, and listen to the whispers of your soul. If there's an area of your life in which you're not being authentic and you're not holding in the highest integrity of your values, this is a time to make the change. An infinite abundance. Everything is, blo is blossoming and bearing fruit. Open yourself to receive. The prosperity you seek is activated. A stream of, of abundance in all areas of your life is ready to flow. You must first believe that is, it is there before it will make its appearance. Take action in the direction of your dreams. This is not the time to passively wait for prosperity to fall in your lap. Life goes in circles. When there are times, there are times when fields lay fallow and there are times of harvest. Right now, you are about to move into your period of harvest. So it's about to get better, Taurus. It's about to look up. It's about to... It's about to get a whole lot lighter. Like, I just had to breathe really heavy there because you guys have been through a lot of heaviness, a lot of heartache, but the light is at the end of the tunnel. So have faith Know that new beginnings are here for you. Amazing new beginnings. You had the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Doors of opportunity are opening. Open them up and go through them. All right, Taurus, I send you guys so much love and healing light. God bless.